Hello everyone, welcome to a new lecture. In this video, we are going to talk about faults. So, what is a fault? Well, a fault is a wave-like structure of bent rocks. If you have a strata of rocks and a compressional stress acts on it from both ends, it will bend. It will create wave-like structures that are called faults. Most of the time, faults are found along convergent plane boundaries where flat-laying sedimentary strata and volcanic rocks are often bent into wave-like structures. The way these strata bend is just like a sheet of paper. Imagine you have a sheet of paper where you hold both ends with your hands and you slowly bring your hands together. You see that the sheet of paper will start to fold. Just like that, strata of rock bend and create Faults. We have faults that come in a wide variety of sizes and configurations and most of the time faults result from compressional stress that causes shortening and thickening of the crust. There's two things that you should be aware of. The first one is a hinge line. A hinge line is an imaginary axis where each layer is bent around it. Something else that we have is called an axial plane. An axial plane is a surface that connects all the hinge lines and divides a fault into two roughly symmetrical limbs. So if you have a hinge line right here and you have another strata, you have a hinge line right here. The axial plane is the plane that connects all those hinge lines and roughly it divides the fault into two equal limbs. We have different types of folding and here they are. We have anticlines, we have antiforms, we have cynocline, we have cineforms, we have monocline, we have domes and we have basins. All these are types of folds. So let's look at each of them in more detail. The first one, an anticline. What is an anticline? Well, an anticline is a fold that is convex in the direction of the youngest bit. If you have bits stacked on each other and you bend them or you fold them in a way where it's convex in the direction of in the youngest bit, just like you see in this picture, it convex in the direction of the youngest bit, then you get an anticline. Anticline are an upside down U shape where the folding is in the direction of the youngest bit. But what happens if you don't know if the layer on top is the youngest bit or the oldest bit? Where in that case, there is another term that is called an antiform. So what is an antiform? Well, an antiform is a fault that is convex upward. It is convex upward, but in case whether you don't know if the layer on top is the youngest layer or the oldest layer, in that case, you call your structure an antiform. You do not call it an anticline, you call it an antiform. So antiforms is a fault that is convex upward, and anticline is a fault that is convex toward the youngest bit. Another type of folding that we have is called cynocline. So what is a cynocline? Well, a cynocline is a fault that is convex in the direction of the oldest bit. Just like you see here, our oldest bit lays in the ground. And since we have a convex that is in the direction of the oldest bit, then we have a cynocline. You have to keep in mind that if for some reason this structure gets overturned, meaning your youngest bed will be at the bottom and your oldest bed will go on top, in that case, you still have a cynocline even though the shape looks like an anticline or an antiform. Since you have a convex that is in the direction of the oldest bit, you have a cynocline, just like you see in this picture. But if you don't know whether the convex is in the direction of the oldest bit or the youngest bit, in that case, we call it a cineform. So a cineform is a fault that is concave upward. So cyniclines are convex in the direction of the oldest bit and they are a U-like shape, but cineforms are faults that are concave upward in case you don't know whether your oldest layer is on top or in the bottom. Another type of folding that we have is called a monocline. So what is a monocline? Well, monoclines are large step-like folds in otherwise horizontal sedimentary stratus. Monoclines are not U-shaped, whether they are U-shaped upward or downward, but actually they are step-like. So you have a horizontal layer, and then you have an inclination, and then you have another horizontal layer. So it goes like this, it bends, and it goes flat again. Those are called monocline. Another type of folding that we have is called a dome. So what is a dome? 
Well, a dome is an upwards structures like a hat where the oldest strata is in the middle and the youngest at the edges. Imagine you have stratas of rock and these stratas bend upwards and they create a hat like shape where the oldest strata is in the middle and the youngest is at the edges. Just like you see in this picture, you had stratas and for some reason all of them went in an upward direction. They created a hat-like structure where your oldest strata is in the middle, this is the oldest, and the youngest is at the top. These are called domes because they resemble a dome. But as you can see, all the layers have been eroded away and the vertical stratas have been exposed. The exact opposite of domes are something that is called basins. So what are basins or what's a basin? Well, a basin is a downward structure like an upside down hat where the oldest strata is at the edges and the youngest is in the middle. So you imagine you have rock stratas and for some reason these rock stratas go downward in the middle and on the edges they come up. In the middle you have your youngest strata and on the edges you have the oldest and it creates something that is like an upside down hat or a bowl and it is called a basin. It's a type of folding. So we had anticlines, antiforms, cyniclines, cineforms, monoclines, domes, and basins. And with this, we come to the end of our lecture. So to recap the whole lecture, 